This is Voyager. It is an imaginary spacecraft, which will take you on a trip to space and all around the Milky Way. I got a lot of shit to say, so I'ma do this every day. I'll be writing things until I'm fucking buried in my grave. Six feet deep, wonder, but my body won't decay. Cause my if you are traveling with the speed of 100 km per hour, so it will take 160 days to travel from Earth to the moon, 257 years to reach Mars, and more than 5 million years to reach Neptune. In 1977, scientists sent a probe Voyager 1 into space at 38,000 miles per hour and didn't exit solar system until 2012, going 35 years with the same speed just to get out of the solar system. That's insane, but that's just the beginning of the universe we are a part of. Even light which can go around planets, seven times a second is kind of slow when compared to the sheer size of the solar system. Usually it takes eight hours and 20 seconds for light to get out of the solar system. The solar system is absolutely immense, but it's just peanuts compared to the Milky Way galaxy. The Milky Way galaxy has approximately 300 billion stars, some of them have their own family of planets orbiting them. Our closest star neighbor is Proxima Centauri, which is about 4.24 light years away from us. If our solar system was shrunk to the size of America, then Alpha Centauri will be located at three times the distance of Moon. That's quite far, isn't it? And if we were traveling with the same speed of Parker Solar probe, it will take around 6.6 .6 million years to reach Alpha Centauri. Let's talk about radio waves. Our radio waves have traveled 5.88 trillion miles over the last hundreds of years, which is 784 times larger than the diameter of our solar system. These waves have reached 15,000 star systems, just 120 millionth of the stars in the Milky so if any aliens lie outside this range, they are unaware of human life. But again, it's nothing as compared to the universe. And if you see Betelgeuse in the night sky today, which is about 700 times greater than our sun, you are actually seeing the light. It emitted a hundred years ago, before Columbus sailed for the new world. If we shrink the size of our solar system to a US quarter, the entire Milky Way will be the size of user and there would be another 300 billion quarters, which represent other star systems. Just imagine that entire USA covered with quarters all around at approximately 300 feet in all directions. We are just one of these 300 billion quarters Beyond our galaxy, there are at least one trillion more galaxies. A trillion. It is a million into million. Our nearest neighboring galaxy is the Andromeda Galaxy, which is 2.5 million light years away. And with the speed of the Parker Solar Probe, it would take approximately 3.97 billion years to reach the Andromeda Galaxy. But it too is moving towards us with 670 thousand miles per hour so it might not take this much long to travel there. As it gets closer our night sky will change drastically like this. Andromeda has trillion stars so what if they collide with our stars and planets? the chances of collision of any star system with at that time will be less than 1%. Yes, you heard me right. And it shows the immense emptiness of space. Now, take a look at Virgo Cluster, made up of 1,500 galaxies, and then Virgo Super Cluster, made up of 20 Thune galaxies, and then comes Laniaca, which contains 
100,000 galaxies, each with hundreds and billions of their own stars and planets. And there are millions of such clusters out there giving out light, which is billions of years old. But this is still a very small part of our huge universe. So remember, when you look up at the night sky, you are actually looking into the past, 